Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, hello. So you click this video because you probably were very interested in being a niqabi, you are very passionate about the niqab, but you wanted to know how to start wearing the niqab and um, sort of kind of educate yourself. And this video is just right for you because I have five things that I can share with you that are that is very, very important that will help you transition from being a hijabi to niqabi. And um, let's get into the video. Okay. So the first important, this is like the most important point that I can make. And I'll be looking down on my phone, okay? The first important is thing you need to know is know why you are wearing the niqab. It is very important that you know this, understand what the niqab is, understand why you specifically um, became attracted to wearing the niqab. And the reason why this is so important is because the road to being a niqabi is not easy. You are going to come across people who will look down on you, people who will look at you a certain way, uh, who will throw some negative comments in your direction. Um, you are probably going to come across um, several obstacles and each time you are going to be you know, questioning yourself if you should be wearing the niqab or not. And that's why it's very important that you know what the niqab is, why you are wearing it, um, and always know that the niqab is an act of worship. Make sure you're wearing it for the sake of Allah, not because your friend is wearing it, not because you find it very beautiful and you think it's a very cool thing to do. Um, find a, a greater uh, purpose, and that should be that you want to please Allah, that you want to um, um, be just like the Prophet's wife, find a greater reason why you are wearing the niqab so that once you are faced with those obstacles, that you are well grounded and you you know are not easily budged. The second point that I want you guys to focus on is stay away from niqabs that are see-through. And when you are exploring with, with different types of niqab, sometimes you might be attracted to niqabs that are um, a see-through, niqabs that are very decorated with such a beautiful, um, um, I don't know, that looks just beautiful. And that kind of defeats the whole purpose of being a, a niqabi because you want to be modest and, um, and those things I feel like kind of go against the purpose of being a niqabi. Also, when you are picking um, niqab, make sure you go for those that would help you breathe easily can stretch stretch how important this is it's so important that you wear niqabs that would help you e breathe easily and i did actually a video on that i'll link it down below and um it's, it's going to be trust me i had i had experiences and there was moments that i almost just threw the niqab <laughs> away because i just my breathing was so restricted subhanallah so go for those that would help you breathe easily and hopefully click on that video um, I go in detail what type of material that would help you um, breathe easily, inshallah. The third point, and this is also extremely important, is find other sisters who are niqabi. Like I said, the road of being a niqabi is not easy, especially if you live in the West. And by the way, this video is for sisters who live in the West. It's not easy being a niqabi. You are going to come across obstacles, like I said at the beginning of the video. And you want to be around sisters who have similar experiences as you, who can advise you, who can help you and guide you and support you when your iman is low. They'll be there for you to support you, inshallah. The other point is, number four, when you put on the niqab, know that certain activities will be difficult to do, like eating out in public. Trust me. Oh my goodness, I struggle with that. It's a... It's, uh, those few months, it's going to be hard, okay? You are going to mess up your niqab, so always come prepared, always bring one or two extra niqabs, and um, there's, it's going to be hard to run and do hiking. Those are my favorite activities, and I learned the hard way, but I find ways to uh, help me do those activities. The and fifth enjoy them. point is make sure you are friendly, and you are open, and you are smiling, and the reason why this is important is because a lot of people don't know what the niqab is. We, they don't know um, how to act around us. They might be suspicious. They might be very uh, awkward. Oh, he's screaming. <laughs> I apologize. That's my son. 
But um, coming back to the point, they don't know what the niqab is. They don't know how to act around us. And you want to be able to uh, make it comfortable for them um, and so that they can ask you questions if they want to. You want to make the situation very easy. Um, so smiling and being friendly will make things a lot uh, better for you. Trust me on this. And this is an extra point. Know that, sister, when things get difficult, you are literally a walking ayah. And you are carrying Islam on your shoulders. And what better honor than to, to, than to have something like that. So when it, things get hard, remember that, inshallah. And um, I hope this helped. I have a part two ready to go if you guys are interested please let me know in the comment section let me know if this video helped you by pressing the like button subscribe uh, so that you can get more content like this and um, i hope this helped you guys assalamu alaikum take care